Sunday, the 7th of May. And today, we went back to the Botanic Gardens. Uh, we actually meant to go play a round of disc golf prior, but we got there and there was a league event. And it was just too gosh darn crowded, so we played a single hole and then decided to leave because it would have taken us like two or three times the normal amount of time to complete the round, and that didn't seem, yeah, well, particularly appetizing. We'll go back another day. Uh, anyways, yeah, we went back to the Botanic Gardens because if you remember uh, a couple weeks ago when we were with Michelle, we went there and we didn't finish everything we wanted to do there, uh, since there's a lot, especially for a free place. And it was really cool. We were able to go check out the herb garden uh, there's a bunch of neat things that you would find or expect to find there, right? Like things that go uh, in your food. <laughs> oh, they even had some coffee plants, some cinnamon plants, things like that that were really neat. And plenty of things that just smelt downright delicious. Uh, speaking of delicious, we also got to look at the fruit garden, uh, which was by and large mostly bananas and mangoes. But there's a host of different sort of things there, like lychee, there were some grapevines, some apples, some interesting looking uh, elephant apple things. They were kind of gourd-like. Uh, I got a little bit of footage of one of the trees there and they're kind of scary looking to be honest with you, but I'm always interested in exotic fruit. Normally, at least in my experience, exotic fruit is never like as delicious or as intriguing as it might look. Uh, with the exception of that, of course, being lychee and uh, the other things similar to lychee. What was that called that we had several months ago? Uh, it was similar to a lychee. It wasn't a lychee down right. Do you remember? Rambutan. Yes, absolutely right. Yeah, Rambutan, same family, I believe, as lychee. But by and large, uh, it was a great time. And we also got an opportunity to check out the southern half of the Botanic Gardens, which is less garden-like and more historical. Uh, it's a collection of historical buildings from the South Central Florida region, mostly the, the greater Pinellas County region, that have been relocated into this specific specific area and preserved and maintained in their, uh, you know, their heyday, right? By and large being the mid 19th century. So a lot, a lot of history, a lot of culture, a lot of interesting stuff to see there. It was really exciting to, uh, to get an opportunity to do so, and I'm glad that we had fun. And we rounded that off with some hunger, which of course we promptly came home and addressed, and it's been several hours since then, and we're about to address another round of hunger. We are making breakfast for dinner once more. Uh, we did this about a week ago. And hopefully we're going to time it up better. Serena's getting started over there at the Waffle Station. Again, with the Millennium Falcon. Super exciting. Very excited to get some pancakes or waffles. I keep calling them pancakes. I don't know why. But <laughs> uh, we also got potatoes, bacon, and eggs, of course. I'm a little worried I didn't start the potatoes soon enough. But I guess we'll see. Um, they, they take close to a half an hour, a little bit longer to get to the right texture, but I don't know. I suppose we'll see. And then in a few minutes here, we'll start the bacon and the eggs. And then after the bacon's done, I can do the gravy. And then after that, well, we're going to eat it. I do love me some breakfast for dinner. It was very delicious. And it's put me in a food coma. I mean, it's also put me in a, it's 11 o'clock coma um, because I'm old and 11 o'clock is late. <laughs> oh, and it was a long sunny day today and we've got more of the same plan tomorrow. So we're actually going to, to hit the hay right now and go to bed. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll see you then.